Hi friends, it's Miss T, and today we are reading Goodbye Friend, Hello Friend by Corey Dorfeld. But before we read the book, let's take a look at the front cover and see if we can find a clue about what this book might be about. Hmm, let's see. I see two people, they look like kids, and when I look at their faces, they have smiles on their faces, big smiles, and they have their arms up like they're waving, and one of them is saying, goodbye friend, and the other one is saying, hello friend, so maybe, I'm guessing this book might be about two friends? and how maybe they say hello or goodbye? I don't know, let's find out. Bye mom, every goodbye leads to a hello. Hi, I'm Charlie. Goodbye to sitting alone is hello to sitting together. Goodbye to outside is hello to inside. Goodbye to snowmen is hello to puddles. Goodbye to long walks butterflies, and the sun is hello to long talks, fireflies, and the stars. Goodbye to an empty bowl is hello to a full heart. Goodbye to only watching is hello to joining in. Goodbye to almost giving up is hello to one more try. Goodbye to superpowers is hello to sweet dreams. But sometimes, when you least expect it, a goodbye comes along that really feels like the end. Sometimes, goodbye is the last thing you want to say, like goodbye to holding tight. Bye, Charlie, is hello to letting go. But no matter what, goodbye to today is hello to tomorrow. Because every goodbye leads to a hello. Hi, I'm Stella. The end. Have you ever had to say goodbye when you did not want to do it? How did it make you feel? Hmm, let me think. Well, well, the hardest goodbye that I had to say was the last time I saw you in school. And it was the end of the day and we were all saying, bye friends, see you Monday. And we didn't know that we weren't going to be going back to school. So that goodbye felt okay at first because I thought it was just for a couple of days. But then later I found out it was going to be for a lot longer than that. And that made me feel really sad because I really love going to school every day and spending time with you and learning together. So that goodbye made me feel very, very sad. But 
now we're kind of here together. We can still read stories, we can still share, we can still learn together through the computer. So, thanks to the Computadora de Explora, we can all kind of still learn together. And that makes me feel wonderful. So how about you? Have you ever had to say a goodbye that you didn't want to do? How did it make you feel? All right, friends. That was goodbye, friend. Hello, friend. And I will see you next time, friends.